Hello. Welcome to the stream. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. So tonight we're going to be building the Disney Up House. So pretty good looking box. It's part of the Disney 100 collection. It does have the pop tabs at the bottom to open, so no tape. It is set number 43217, and it is 598 pieces. And I can tell by looking inside the house, it looks like it's probably going to have a billion stickers. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and pop into this guy. Get it opened up. All right, so four individual bags. And that's it, just four straight bags. No duplicates or anything like that. And as I said before, the stickers, sticka, sticka, stickas. So we got the uh, plain standard white manual where they, looks like they just kind of put a sticker over the, the image or a PDF file over the image. Uh, nothing interesting in the front of this one. Sometimes I'll put information about the movie or about the project in the front of the books to you know, add to your enjoyment, but nothing new today. Hi, Sadie. Thanks for joining. I know you like to, uh, to join the stream. I always appreciate it. So I've been thinking about moving my streams to Tuesdays. Anybody have any thoughts or comments about that? Hi, Elena. I'm looking forward to seeing the house as well. Now, for all you Up fans out there, I'm going to be honest. I have only seen this movie once. It's too sad to watch again. Couldn't do it. Uh, thinking about moving to Tuesdays uh, because I've been running into issues running it on Thursdays. Um, next week I won't be able to run a stream because I'm going to be going to the Indiana Jones movie at 6.45. Uh, last week I couldn't run one because uh, something came up on Thursday. It just seems like Thursday a lot of things come up to kind of get in the way. Uh, Wednesdays I go out with my friends, so that's definitely a no. Uh, so I just thought Tuesdays might be an option, and I was wondering what anybody thought about that. Like last week, I ran my stream on Wednesday instead of Thursday because I wasn't available. But it's merely about we don't really have much going on on Tuesdays other than kind of it's kind of show catching up night. So it just seems like it might be easier to switch the streams to Tuesdays. And I know a few people who don't get to attend the live stream because they're busy on Thursdays or they're closing at their jobs. So this would switch everything up. So, so you think it's a good idea, Sadie? You think it's okay? So right now we're building the backpack of the little boy. Does anybody know what the little boy's name is? I just keep thinking of him as Hey Kid, but I'm, I know that's not right. Okay. Almost got his, uh, his field pack done. Russell, that's right. 
Hey, Braden. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Now, Russell is loaded down with all the camping gear of this... Um, I don't know what his camping name is. Wilderness, wilderness badges, wilderness pass. What the? What is his? What is his affiliation for his uh, his camping? It's like he's. It's obviously not the Boy Scouts. That's um. That's produced by the church. Uh huh. It's all good. Just remember to, to like and subscribe when you have an opportunity. Thank you for everybody for joining tonight. My name is James and I like to build Lego. It's not obvious already. I appreciate you guys joining us, and we're going to do a nice little build of the Up House from Lego, and then we'll do a nice little review on it at the end and see what we think the uh, the value is. Do we think it's a pretty good value? Do we think it's, you know, maybe it's a little overpriced? Is it, you know, is it this, is it that? We'll have a little discussion. We'll round table it. Anybody got any fun plans coming up this weekend? Let me know in the comment below. I do like it when people do comments. I love to respond to them even after the streams. Or if you're interested in following me over on Instagram, DarthBricks42. All right, that's... That's pretty cool. They made a uh, they made a record player. It's pretty neat. So they got the record on top, but they used a miner's helmet for the device to play sound, like the micro the megaphone. That's pretty cool. Round table pizza? Okie dokie. Right now we're working on uh, Carl's house. It's Carl, right? Yeah, Carl. I want to second guess myself all the time. Hope everybody had a nice. to have to watch up again i'll brave uh, i'll brave the tears at the beginning of the movie
Very much so, Sadie. Red, uh, red bird, cardinal, or something or another. Finch, maybe. Goes up on uh, the mantle. Well, this will be good. It looks like we're building a, a cuckoo clock. Steady hand stickers. Nice cuckoo clock going. Add the cheese wedge pieces to the top. There it goes. So as you see, we're kind of flushing out the house. Interior of Carl's home. So it should be a quick build tonight. About an hour overall. Even with the stream, um, there's 598. Not a large set, and uh, I think is this a fifty dollars set when it was new. Take a look. A sixty sixty dollars set. So sixty dollars, five hundred ninety eight pieces. That puts it right around the ten cents a piece. So you know, that's right in the ballpark of. Uh, you know what fans would call the perfect value. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who want, uh, obviously, want more, but you know, you can't argue with that, really. Because more, if some is good, more is better, kind of things. All right, this is a big door sticker. Putting on already. One one side of the door. We're going to have the inside of the door. Then the inside. Systems. So when you're. Putting this on, make sure you're paying close to which side you're putting on. So you don't have all your locks and everything on the outside of your house. Uh, you may not like it. Burglars will love it. Um, but it will not work out super well for you in the long run. Okay. Outside of our house. Nice little plant. I know it would probably be difficult for them to do it, but I would love if they made a uh, like a little plant-shaped shoe for uh, for Wally. Yeah, the actual size, according to the uh, dimension on the box. Uh, it looks like it's about maybe 8 to 10 inches wide. Probably about 12 inches tall with uh, maybe, maybe 12 to 14 inches tall with the balloons. So it's it's not a super big set. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of buildings that don't have backs. Because um, I feel like that's it's just kind of... It's not the building. It's just the front of the building with a small interior. But sometimes they really do serve their purpose being small like this. And then, uh, like, you know, I get the, the need to scale down sets. That is crooked. I get the need to scale down sets uh, quite a bit lately. Uh, there's only so much room uh, in people's homes, I'm sure. Uh, I do like the, the new... That was a dead bug. Interesting. Um, I do like the new Peter Pan and Wendy set. Um, that was recently announced. And uh, I know I'm not the only one in this group, but I, I really love the new Disney castle. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, check it out at lego.com. Uh, it is up for, uh, I don't think it's up for pre-order. I think it's just up on the site. But it comes out July 4th or 1st, somewhere around that time frame. Not sure if it's a release on the 4th for everybody or if it's a release on the on the 1st for VIPs and then you know, the 4th is everybody else. Um so the Disney Castle is listed as coming soon, available July 4th. VIP early access on July 1st. So starting on July 1st, you can get the castle if you're a VIP member. If you're not a VIP member, well, it doesn't cost anything to become one. So quit being a bugaboo and just get the damn thing. You know, it still works out that every hundred bucks or so that you spend, you're going to get a five dollar discount. So if you buy the castle and you get everything set up, you're going to get a ten dollar discount, or I'm sorry, twenty dollar discount um, on your next purchase once you get everything registered. So, hell, why not, right? Buy more stuff. All right, here is the nice picture of the house on the cliff, on the painting. painting looks like that goes right over the top of the fireplace or yeah, right inside the house there so as you can see it's coming together quite nicely quite quickly and i guess if you think about the movie carl's house wasn't very big in the first place small little place they had together I feel like up is a uh, it's a and not waiting you know don't wait until you're older to travel don't wait until you're older to have adventures don't wait until you're older for anything because Nothing's guaranteed. And I think I'd rather have the memories um, of the adventure of our life. You know, figure out a way to figure out a way to do it instead of just thinking about it. So I just 
saving for it. Figure out a way to actually do it. All right, so first bag is done. We're on the outside, so we've got the porch. Front door looks like the living part of the living room with a bay window. We've got the fireplace, record player, lamp. So, so far, so good on the build. I do like the color options. This is a very, very colorful set. And uh, I do like and appreciate that so much. You know, it's, a, it's a nice break. Uh, I build a lot of Star Wars. And so it's a lot of gray, a lot of black. So it's just nice to build a very nice, fun, colorful set. Because it really breaks you out of that, uh, really breaks you out of that stagnant rut or whatever you want to call it that you get into. All right, let's build Carl. Don't worry, Sadie. You just do what you need to do. I appreciate you popping in and saying hi and being a loyal uh, loyal streamer, fan, friend, person. Yeah. It's too bad they didn't do the um, – so they did a roller skate for the bottom of his, his, his crutch. It would have been nice if they would have done, like, another color scheme with the green so he had, had the tennis ball look. But that's a very good-looking um, – it's a very good-looking Carl. I'd say. Very good looking minifigure. Nice detail. Cat in the box. A lot of limes, pinks. Anybody have any interesting plans coming up soon? This weekend, next weekend? do throw it in the comments love to hear about it let me know what you guys are up to they even did a they did a print for the paradise falls jar and one side is the coins the other side is the paradise falls and it goes right there in the windowsill it's very cute And above that is going to be the picture. Of his wife when she was young and wanting to be an adventurer. All right. Keep plugging away. Doing our thing.
you're joining us late, we're building the Lego Up House. Thank you for joining. If you're tuning into this after the stream has been over for who knows how long, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the support. Remember to hit the like and subscribe so you can be notified about upcoming videos. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, it's also DarthBricks42. Just posted a couple of reels over there today, so if you want to check those out, um, I think they're funny or interesting. So hopefully you do too. You know, let me know what kind of content you like to see. If, uh, you got any suggestions? I love uh, constructive feedback. People are just gonna be just gonna be jerks and keep to yourself. It's pretty much a life lesson. Well, here's the here's the wedding photo. Look like a happy couple. Right. Oh, it's interesting. So they, for the bay window style, they use the cheese slopes. So you got a connector here that makes a right angle if you have it straight, but they use the cheese slopes and you turn it out, it has a nice little corner angle. So it's gonna build that nice bay window uh, style design. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool design by Lego. People that design these things they're they're just absolutely amazing and then the fans that come up with the um you know come up with mocks and alternative builds and like the sets that you see on lego ideas um they're they're, they're amazing and i think lego ideas is one of the most innovative um, themes out there because uh, the stuff that's being made is it's the way for the the fans, the, you know, the non, you know, Lego designers to show off that we, we mere mortals out here, we're, we, we have a good eye and a good idea of what, what looks good. You know, uh, mock builders and custom builders, though, they get, a, they get to cut a few corners, though that um, master builders or designers don't get to because um, there's a lot more rules and regulations from Lego as far as what cuts mustard and what doesn't. Like you can't just, you know, not just everything can uh, be a Lego set. They got to go through all the, all the, um, the steps to see, you know, if it stays together, how it works and things like that. You guys will figure out something. You guys trying to figure it out for today? Or are you guys trying to figure it out for a, uh, like this weekend? It's week. Mm -hmm. It'll come together. There we go. There's the front of the house. Like I said, that nice design for the bay window. And then you get that nice interior. Three windows, all the pictures, all the you know, homely devices. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, here we go. We're getting into the yellow. Yeller. You guys have a problem because of like work schedules? That's what's creating a conflict. Nailed it. There we go. Now we're getting that second floor going. together quite good, quite goodly. That's work been for everybody. Challenge real. Ah, I think we're building Carl's chair. There we have the interior, first floor interior done. Got a little A-frame going for the second floor. All right. What's the name of the dog, guys? Anybody uh, remember? Drama, what drama? Just one solid piece. Uh, remember, he's a bit of a talker. You get the drama from your mama, not from me. Doug, that's right. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in a very long time. And uh, my memory of it is just not super great. I, I really enjoyed the movie. I just should have watched it in preparation of doing the video. But we're very busy. That ever happened to any of you guys? You want to do something, life gets in the way, then you realize 
he didn't do it. That was me all the time. Ooh, the books. I like these books that they uh, they do. Where it says they put the hinge on the on the piece, but then you can attach something inside the book, which this one has got a piece, if I can never find it. There it is. So this is a once upon a time tile, which definitely cool to have for a uh, a Disney set and then you've got a sticker for the cover which is kind of a bummer but I get it and the cover says my adventure book so it comes together quite nicely like so to get a better uh better camera in the in the long run you can see a little bit clearer All right, a couple of these build ingot bricks. And... Carl's TV now. All done. You know, when I was a kid, I remember the TV being an actual piece of furniture. So you had the big, you know, tube, tube TV in it. The, and then around it was like a four million pound wood frame that, you know, you never moved. Um, and you had the speakers were built into the side. Big gigantic wood frame. Two was like this big, but it was like a major piece of furniture. And, you know, your mom used to, you know, put the, the the doilies on top and all the different like pictures and and things like the TV was a big gigantic entertainment center, and it sat on the floor. So you know, it was it wasn't that nice. You know, you have the TV up where you can look at it straight on. It was you were looking down at the TV across the room. Because it was this gigantic million pound brick on the floor. So, I mean, who had that? Anybody else have that? Anybody else remember those? Uh, those gigantic uh, furniture bricks in your house? Well, I mean, nobody in the current chat, I'm sure. I remember... Uh, you know, I remember being the remote control. Go change the channel. The dials, click, 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 click. Or the digital push button.
That's a very colorful bedspread. So they're using the um, Lego one by one tiles as a quilt to go along with everything. So let me get that everything straightened out. There. So you got a nice bed with the quilted cover on it. Get her fast. So we're building here. This is part of the uh, the A-frame of the house. And we're using these uh, like sand blue, darker blue triangle pieces on the outside of the house. There's a lot, but I'm the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, so these are going to go in select spots. Pattern on the roof. pattern it makes on the roof. That'll be a neat design piece. And then these are going to pop. There we go. So that'll be the first side of our A-frame roof. All right. So we're going to obviously go ahead and do something like that again. It's not identical. It's not an identical build on this one. Looks like we got that section of the house done as well. And we get to make some more of those little tile pieces that go on the roof. Again. Happy little roof tiles. Happy little trees. Again. There we go. So we got the front of the house basically all wrapped up. Side profile, as you can see, coming along up top quite nicely.
Another sticker, another picture. Last one, last sticker, last picture. Should do a, uh, you know, uh, uh, like an adult Lego building party. And uh, every time you got to put a sticker on a set, got to take a drink. Carl's wife was her name. Her name was Ellie, right? I want to. I want to say Ellie. Jack, can you verify that? Let me know if I'm wrong. Thank you. I didn't watch Up when it first came out. It was actually, it was many years after it came out before I watched it. I just remember being like told that when it came out, it was it was a very sad movie. It was just the time I wasn't interested in watching a very sad movie. But it's got a good moral. It's got a good moral to it. So another one of those that's, uh, I was watching a, a video some time ago on it. I don't remember who produced it. Uh, it was on YouTube. They were, it was talking about like, you know, those Disney, Disney, deaths in Disney movies, the Disney animated movies. And like, I think it was right up there with, um, Clayton's death from, uh, um, Tarzan as being one of the, like, it was one of those brutal deaths. It's like, I think the audience is a little like, Ew. kept the uh, get with the guy. We were that in the Disney film. <laughs> So here we have the front of the house, almost nearly completed interior of the house. You got the chimney on at the back. That's where the uh, balloons are going to be connecting once we get those uh, hooked up. So bag four looks like it's primarily going to be the that last window sill that goes right here in the front, and uh, 
fencing and a little bit of the yard and a whole lot of balloons. Ba -ba balloons. You can, uh, you can get away with playing music on, on here, but I mean, I could, I could do it. I wouldn't be able to do it for very long. <laughs> I did a, um, for those of you who can check it out, for those of you who can't check it out, bug your parent until you can. Um, I did a hyperspace, a hyperspeed hyperspace. A hyper um, hyper reel. I uh, filmed myself building one of the Indiana Jones sets, the uh, fighter plane chase, and uh, so you know the build took X amount of real time, but the hyper hyperlapse shows it only taking like thirty seconds to build. And uh, I thought it was really cool, um, really cool set. Um, it's way cooler um, than I originally thought it was going to be way back in the day when I first heard about it because um, that was one of my favorite if for, uh, indie sets of when the first wave was out. It was like I loved the fighter, uh, the fighter plane chase, and uh, the fact that it wasn't two planes, it was a plane in a car. I was like, uh, why? But now actually, I really enjoy it for what it is. I'm glad they didn't do like one-to-one -one remakes of the the indie sets but they actually put some variety into it but i want to know where my rest of my sets are some uh, dial of destiny sets Rumor had that they were going to be coming out with eight sets overall for the Indiana Jones. And then the um, Temple of Doom set got canceled. Well, I mean, it never got officially announced by Lego, so technically it didn't get canceled, but you know what I mean. And then, uh, you know, we in the fan community were ex hoping slash expecting to get you know some sets from the new movie that's coming out here in a couple days next week you know we we're hoping to get some dial of destiny sets and fortunately we didn't get anything no indie from dial no no new indie sets from lego outside of the ones that they already released no new hot toys, Indiana Jones figures. Hasbro's doing their thing with the adventure series, which is very cool. I'm picking those up where I can. I just need more Indiana Jones, more indie stuff. Definitely inflating some balloons.
Oof, lots of balloons. Bubba -bu balloons. All right, so this is going to be oops. This is one red, one blue. One red, one blue. One red, one blue. Ninety-nine red balloons. Anybody? Anybody? Come once, twice. I'm gonna turn the house because I'm gonna trying to look at it backwards and it's it's just not working for me. My brain's not comprehending backwards right now. Putting these balloons on is somewhat tedious. So you build all the balloons really fast, but you're never quite sure what order they're going to go in the rods. They got they're using white long rods, and then they're using gray short rods. They're kind of altering the levels. Of course, if you don't do that, then the balloons won't work right because then they'll all get stuck, kind of get stuck together. Or they'll get in the way and the, the balloon bundle won't look as good as it's supposed to. Uh, so far, I mean, I really enjoy the color. Um, you know, this is a cool house and a cool idea. Um, I really enjoy how colorful the house is. Um, really breaking out of the, the basic color molds that I feel like that we, we get stuck in, um, especially Star Wars fans like myself. Um, I really like the color so far. And... Uh, you know, some of the, what what I'll, I'll call it old-timey detail. Um, but to be perfectly honest, that's how my house used to look when I was a kid. Uh, my parents had a lot of old stuff and antiques. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of my childhood. What do you guys think is cool about the build so far? What is something that you're interesting that you find is very interesting about this set thus far? The balloons, the balloons are cool. I mean, I've never done a bouquet, a balloon bouquet like this before. So this is really cool looking. It's really neat. I gotta give the designers credit on that one. And I think here we're gonna be building, uh, I think we're building Carl's balloon cart.
I wonder how many laws, like legit laws, you would be breaking if you tried to fly your house <laughs> uh, up style out of your neighborhood. You got to wonder like how many exact uh, laws you probably get hit with. I know they get pretty ticked off if you uh, uh, if you disrupt flight patterns, like for airports, or if your uh, home were to stray into a no-fly zone. Like, I don't know how much trouble you get in. Well, actually, I, um, come to think of it. Um, Um, there was a man some, some time ago, I don't remember when, so don't ask me exact questions, but you can look him up. He, um, tied a bunch of balloons to a lawn chair and, uh, guess what he did up, up and away. And once they got him down, he was promptly arrested. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, that would probably be a good uh, indication as to uh, like what kind of uh, penalties or criminal charges you might be facing if you were to pull something off like that. I mean, I'm on TV now, technically, if you're watching me on a streaming platform at your house. So I don't have to get arrested to get on TV. <laughs> LOL. Oh, look at that. This one's a uh, little Carl's little balloon area, but this one's also got a little squirrel. A little squirrel hanging out. So, all right. So that is the set so again you've got the little it's a little look like mailbox balloons there's a little helium car and uh doesn't really look like there's any way to, like stick it to the house or anything like that so it's just a free floater in front then you've got carl Doug and um, don't tell me his name. I know his name. I forgot his name already. Yep, squirrels are Doug's favorite. Russell. Thank you, Sadie. Russell. I don't know why I can think of something else. But so it's actually it's a very cute little set. It's very it's it's good size. It's not very big. Um the inside of the house is actually like it's not even a, probably a third. It's probably a third of what the house size would actually be if you were to build the entire thing. Um but to be perfectly honest, this is a really good looking front of a house. And you know, it's it's really kind of cool. You can easily set Carl up in his in his in his chair. You can put Russell at the front door so he's being ignored. Um, but to be perfectly honest, this is a really neat little set. Very colorful, adds a lot of pop to your shelf. Uh, definitely would catch eyes, and uh, you know, could be a conversation starter. Definitely a nice little piece for the Disney 100 series. Um, you know, they're coming out with so much great stuff uh, this year. Uh, looking forward to uh, a lot of things, including the castle, the Peter Pan set that's coming out next. Uh, I know, Elena, you're still working on the villains set. Uh, and when that's done, we'll post some pictures on Instagram. And uh, same with the duos when you get the duos finished. 
Um, but I think it's really cool. I I like Carl. You know, he's um, you know, I'm all getting up getting up there as a curmudgeon myself, so a lot to relate to. Um, but Russell's cool. It's a it's a very cool looking figure with all the all, all the patches, and then he's got the hat hair combo built in, so it's all built into one. Um, and he's got two faces, both smiling, one open mouth, one stra a standard smile. Um, they're really, that's really cool. I wonder, does Carl have uh... – Carl's got two faces, of course. Of course, he's got the, he's got the, the slight pencil-thin smile, and then he's got the pencil-thin frown. So we'll go ahead and leave him with the frown because hmm, the video is over. And uh, you know, we'll, be, we'll, we'll go ahead and stream something on Tuesday next week. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're interested, what you're interested in seeing. Uh, got a lot of things. We can start doing a uh, multiple part videos. Um, I got the Mighty Bowser. I got the Atari 2600. I've got the new X-Wing. I've got Commander Cody still. We've got the um, uh, the art Iron Man. We're going to do the three arts together to make the big Iron Man mosaic where it's uh, Iron Man's face, part of his chest, and then he's putting his arm out with the repulsor going off got that one we got we still have the heroes of the republic uh brickhead set uh we still got you know we've got wally e brickhead wiley cody and the roadrunner got lots of stuff you know um not going to stream building the titanic my wife and i are going to team build that but i will do photos and upload those to instagram um so those would be cool um but you know let me know in the comments below what you guys like what you guys want to see uh, what you guys are interested in uh remember to like give a thumbs up follow subscribe for more content more videos and um the upset i abs upset the up house set is definitely a good value at 60 dollars um it's right there at the 10 cents a piece can't see what else you probably want everybody always wants more minifigures but it is what it is um, but it's definitely a fun little set that I will enjoy putting on my shelf and uh, adding a pop of color. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it as always. Uh, follow me on Instagram, DarthBricks42. Like and subscribe and follow me here on YouTube. And I look forward to seeing everybody. We'll do our next video on Tuesday. And I look forward to hearing from you guys on Instagram and on YouTube. Thank you guys very much. Have a great night. Build what you like. Be safe. Be fun. Have a great weekend.